Hello and welcome to the first lesson of the unit of natural resource economics. In this lesson, we'll, we will firstly focus on the role of natural resources in the economic context and in particular on the issue of economic sustainability. I stress economic as the sustainability problem, as you may know, have multiple dimensions. But in these lessons and more broadly in this unit, we will be particularly interested in the economic dimensions of the sustainability problem. One particular point we will investigate is the question if natural resources are essential to the economic system. In order to understand this role of natural resources, we will develop a simple economic model built around a production function in which natural resources are input into the production process. We will be interested in the substitution between natural resources and human-made capital. In this lesson, we'll also introduce the framework that we will use across the whole unit to analyze the use of natural resources over time. For framework, I mean both the theoretical framework that most environmental economists applies to the problem of how to allocate a limited amount of resources to fulfill the unlimited wanted needs of humans, but also the mathematical method that allows us to arrive to quantitative results. In order to apply them, we'll need, however, to rewarm our mathematical knowledge, and we will review two tools in particular, the Lagrange multipliers method and the optimal control theory. Advantage of using distance learning if you don't need this mathematical review, you can just skip it. With the framework on hand, we'll identify the conditions that must be satisfied by an economically efficient pattern of natural resource use over time, and we will establish the characteristics of a socially optimal pattern of this resource use in the special case of a utilitarian social welfare function.